We have got a 1968 Chevelle Malibu, 42 miles on a body off frame restoration with several good upgrades, performance built 350, a performance built turbo 400, a 373 Posi, upgraded suspension, four wheel disc brakes. The guy spent 1,000 hours building this car. I just spoke to him on the phone. He says he just loves building the car. And once it's done, he sold it. Definitely was not a money maker for him. It's his hobby, but he did a fantastic job. Painted the original Fathom blue color too, which I think is stunning. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all about it. You can look at pictures top to bottom, and that's where you'll find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well. With only 10% down, the banks will finance these cars for 12, 13 years in most cases. If you enjoy our uh, videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you're going to be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, that top is down. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, 42 miles on the car since it's been done. He put all that work into it and didn't drive it. He, I just talked to him. He says, yeah, I enjoy building the car. He has had this car uh, for several years and put 1,000 hours into building it. And he did a great job. So body was off the frame. The chassis was sandblasted and then treated with poor 15, so it's all nice and black. It's a rust uh, pre preventative. Uh, suspension's completely rebuilt and upgraded. It has box control arms in the back. As a Hotchkiss sport suspension kit, which has the lowering springs, fat sway bars front and back, KYB gas shocks. The steering is completely rebuilt, including the steering box. The fuel system was all replaced, including the tank. The brake system was completely redone and upgraded. It has disc at all four wheels, has stainless steel brake lines and stainless braided hoses. The e-brake is hooked up. Really nice sounding stainless steel exhaust system with an X-pipe in the middle, polished MagnaFlow mufflers, and nice turned down tips that are tucked up under there very neatly. You look up at the motor and it's still like brand new because it, it practically is as a high torque starter. Now the turbo 400 automatic transmission was built by the same guys that build the transmissions for a grave digger monster truck. They build high performance transmissions. Transmission in here they said will handle a thousand horsepower. So it's definitely overkill for this car. Um, he put heavy duty yokes on the trans and the rear end as a custom made drive shaft. The rear end is all rebuilt. It's a 12 volt Mo uh, Moog axles, uh, Eaton 373 Posi gear. So every component underneath this car is rebuilt, new, upgraded, and it's all detailed and looks real nice. All rust free, <clears throat> clean metal floors. It looks like it has like a chip guard uh, paint is sprayed on there, so nice durable floors with a nice black chassis. The body looks amazing. Uh, he did an incredible job. This is absolutely straight. I don't see a ripple or a flaw. It's square. Fits real nicely. Looking down the side of the car, absolutely straight. No rust, smooth all around here. No bubbles, no rust at all, all straight, no issues, there is a chip down here at the bottom, no rust, all metal. Now I just noticed that caught my attention when we got started, it threw me off for a second. Look at the flush mount uh, marker lights on the side here, that's really cool, I've never seen that before, but they are flush mounted and notice there's no emblems, it's a nice clean look. It does have an SS hood on it, nice touch. And again, this all continues to be absolutely straight. There's no antenna on the car. Yeah, just a nice, clean, smooth look. Now the color, I didn't even know they had Fathom Blue in 1968. I've seen it in 70. This is, I think, code E. We have a picture of the tag on our website. 
and it is Fab and Blue. I said, oh, what custom color did you paint this? He said, no, I painted it the original Fab and Blue that it came. Stunning color. It's a deep, dark, metallic blue, my favorite. And it is laid out evenly. All the metal flake is laid out. There's no issues with any of that. It's all one color, clear coated, and it is polished like glass. You can reach right in. It's like I can grab my, myself in there. It, it looks nice and deep. So the body and paint are outstanding on this car. Convertible top says the most expensive top he could buy. It's a black canvas instead of the vinyl, glass window, top frame is painted, new rubber, even the little chrome hooks look new. Back here, the trim, the bumper, the taillights, all that looks new. The wheels, they're 15 inch rally wheels, wider in the back with a little baby moon hubcap, fat tires, there's still nubs on the treads of the tires, they're hardly used. With this blue, you know, wheels are a personal preference. I could see some nice polished wheels on here with that blue, and I, I think it would look amazing. But whoever buys the car, you can leave it the way it is. It looks good, or you can change the wheels. But I think some nice polished wheels would look sharp. Up front, the chrome, the bezels, all the trim, it's all new, and it's all just sparkling. Same thing up here. This is polished like chrome, the stainless trim. All beautiful, this is new. The vent window frames are new. Even the little pin, all, all this stuff here is brand new. And guess what else? All the glass is new in the car. All the weather strips and seals and gaskets were all replaced in the car. Door jams are painted slick. The weather strips in there are replaced. So, the outside's amazing. Now let's t give you a tour of the inside. All right, let's take a look in the trunk. Well, to no surprise, it is beautiful. Underneath here is painted smooth and glossy. So is the jam, is painted real slick. Weather strip is replaced. Now we have a nice, clean trunk compartment. Spatter painted, this looks like brand new. Has a new mat, a new well liner. A fifth uh, new tire, the nubs are still on the tread, rally wheel, the jack is all restored. It's new wiring throughout the car, including in the trunk. So that's like a brand new trunk right there. And I tell you what, the more I'm looking at this car, the more I'm liking it. Honest to God. Look at how slick the door jams are, even up by the hinges, they're like brand new. Door panel, armrest, all that's like new. And, and what do we got there? We got power window switches. And the windows go up and down real easily. I was checking to see if it was new glass, and they zip right up and down. So new dash pad, custom instrument panel with uh, all new autometer gauges. Let's light it up, see how many miles are on it now. 42 miles still, that's the original. Heater control panel looks new. It does have a stereo system with an auxiliary plug and then the molded kick panel speakers. The trim's new. This is painted like glass. New carpet fits real nice. New reproduction seat belts. The seat's been rebuilt, all nice and plump and reupholstered. And this whole car, the interior of the floor is lined with sound deadener. Got new seat belts back here, reupholstered, new armrests. It is a power top, I didn't mention that already. Uh, all new wiring and updated fuse block in the car. Cushion grip steering wheel, new visors. Tell you what, this is one of the nicer cars that I've uh, presented to you guys in a while. So the motor, it is a built 350. Uh, he says it's a four bolt main high nickel block. It has some real special heads on there. I think they're 416 X heads or 461 X heads. Um, I use them in race cars and that. It's a complete rebuild, board 30 over, so it's a 355. 
He said, any trick you could throw at the heads, the heads are completely redone and tricked out. The intake is port matched to the heads. Uh, it's got roller rockers, 10 and a half to one compression. It looks like a dual feed heli carb with electric choke. Uh, in back, we got a billet distributor with HEI ignition. We got a set of coded uh, headers. Look how nice everything's painted, detailed. Chrome cover on top of an aluminum radiator. We got a shroud. We got a new fan. We got chrome power steering down here. Steering box is new. The rag joint. Uh, their Thorley headers. New brake booster. Wiper motor. Squirters are hooked up. Look under the hood how it's all painted. This is a show quality car but I would be driving it as well. I like this car so much, I was literally just thinking, hmm, I should keep this. It revs up nice and clean. It's not even warmed up. Love the color, I love the quality. Yeah, this is, this is my style. Idling a little high till it warms up. Really nice car, folks. Really, I'm very impressed. Usually, the more you look at a car, you start to see little things. The little things are better on this car. Way up in here in the jams, again, the, the vent window. I hardly ever see this little thing here sparkling clean. Uh, reproduction seat belt. It's just an outstanding car. I just found out not that long ago it's a factory blue car. Uh, really impressed with his workmanship. He ran the wires from the engine to the car. He ran them underneath the hose here instead of being strung across. Just little details like that. You can tell he was passionate about building this car. The wheels. The wheels are fine, but I think some like polished torque thrust or something on here would really make this thing pop. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer your questions. They can help you with the financing and getting it delivered to your door at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe. Click on that bell icon. That way you're notified when the cars are posted because we get all sorts of amazing cars. Thanks for watching.